यूट्यूबर्स वेलकम बैक टू ऑल ऑफ यू वंस अगेन माय नेम इज़ निखिल ऑल दी वे फ्रॉम इंडिया सो दिस इज पार्ट थ्री ऑफ सर्विस पोर्टल डेवलपमेंट सो हियर यू विल लर्न अबाउट विजिट मोर डिटेल्ड अबाउट विजिट सो लेट्स गो अहेड विदाउट वेस्टिंग आवर पीसीस टाइम सो फ्रेंड हियर विजिट्स आर एंगुलर जे एस डिरेक्टिव इफ यू डोंट नो अबाउट एंगुलर जे एस डोंट वरी कीप पेशियंस you will learn about that also so friend whenever the page loaded a directive is created for each widget and they consist of html markup css a javascript controller and the client side and the server side code to execute javascript code it uses the rhino engine under the service now platform means widget consist of html css javascript controller uh, basically javascript client side and server side code for example this sc catalog item widget uh, let me show you uh, sp wait for a while so if i will go to the catalog home page and uh, go by category i will show you wait for a while and uh, okay this booking ticket cancellation so friend this is the widget out of the box widget and the name is sc catalog item it is used for to display the catalog item so that end user can right now it is the record producer so user can fill the form and submit if it would be something else like laptop mobiles user just fill necessary uh, fields and then they would have submit right so let's open widget in platform i have clicked that button okay it is loading open widget in platform i don't know why it is not opening i can do controls widget in editor okay that is the good so friend here you could see the components of the widget which are html css client script server script and this link function for dom dom manipulation if you want to keep demo data you can keep here keep into here this json so i will show you how to create a widget in this video session only and we will uh, create a widget for greeting message based on time zone okay so don't worry there so friend these are the components available in widget server script it will execute first to retrieve the data okay html template here we can bind controller variables to display or to perform some specific functionality okay i just want to do for you it's a uh, uh, let's open widgets and i just want to open this notify message okay, this widget is not the out of the box
okay so here you can see we have a survey script right now no codes are available here maybe it would not it would have not required for me that's why it was not required for me that why that's why i didn't write a single piece of codes here so friend if you will attach any variable into this data object that we can access through the client script variable uh, which is c or this scope object okay and i will tell you about that also so here we can bind controller variable to display or to perform some specific functionality means whatever the data will be attached to this c object can be accessible in html template by writing like this message dot message here message is the variable which is which attach with scope object that's why i didn't write c dot message okay ideally i could write a c dot message dot message if i would have attached with this c object okay uh, you will see about this don't worry so here you can write your css code or sas code to define the look and feel of contents so css if you know you can write to to change the look and feel of html element here you can select through the class name id name and then you can provide uh, some css property to look good not only that you can write sas okay it is a kind of a css framework okay systematic or some style set so here it is saying scss okay it is also a part of uh, this sas only to define look and feel of contents okay client script it takes the server data object and maps with the client object to make use of associated variables of that server data object into html means if i will attach some variable into this data object okay and that will be mapped to this c object or this scope object and whatever the properties will be attached to this data object can be accessible in the html template by writing list, uh, like this message dot message message is the variable uh, like let's suppose here we have data dot text equal to something okay for example if you want to access this because we have this scope object okay we can directly access by writing text and we can also access by writing like this c dot text both way we can access just because of this scope object we are able to access like this okay it process data before rendering it to html using client script okay it basically first process the data before rendering into html using the client script we can pass input to the server and perform a specific operation means from the client side also we can make a server call to perform some specific operations okay maybe you want to uh, create record read record delete update some record for that you can uh, create a form here 
and by taking some inputs from the client side you can make a server call to update create delete or something else okay so the option schema if you want to display static content and you want to make a widget configurable means without touching a single line of code you can replace that through option inputs okay i will show you so go to the home page these three widgets which you are able to see on the screen are showing a content which is static means this will not change until and unless service portal developer will change till that time it will show the same content okay F for that we can create options input options like if I will control right click and click this instance option it will show some inputs like title, short description, okay, bootstrap color, group icon and the template okay. our template has nothing but the reusable html templates which we can call in our html template instead of writing a messy code and if we will use the template then it will look it looks good and in increase the readability of html code that's it that uh, that also we will see in our next session so this is for that okay you want to display static and how we can add that uh, options uh, you can add from here also edit option schema okay you can add from here you have to give a name label and it will automatically give you a name and you can select the type boolean integer reference whatever okay Field name, field list, glide list, glyph icon. <laughs> you can select. That's it. Okay. Next, we have a widget instance. So, friend, whenever you add a widget to the page, the instance will be created for that widget. When the widget runs on the page, it uses widget contents and instance property. To display see this widget is just the blueprint okay so to have structure okay it's just a blueprint or we can say a skeleton a structure so once we add this widget into the page it will create an instance and that instance will refer to the particular widget okay so i will show you here the application navigator sp underscore instance dot list so here you can see the list of instance which are already created after adding widget into the page okay this is not the record created by developer it will create automatically this record will be create automatically if you will add widget into the page okay uh, by default instance record has this common fields title short description bootstrap color bootstrap size hypertext reference urls and additional option if you are adding options means uh, i will show you okay if i'll click this new so by default it has all these fields title souls color gilf id 
class name bootstrap class name bootstrap size or description css url okay so whatever the url will provide uh, it will redirect to that uh, page if you are using this options then only okay and this additional json formats when it will come as i told you if you will add some options okay by yourself okay and that additional option will also come here in form of json in the form of json okay and there are different type of instances so we can categorize through this class group by class so here you could see instance with search instance of carousel instance with link instance with menu instance with table instance of simple list so while creating widget you can select the instance data table using this data table field okay here uh, through this field you can select the instance table and based on that you will get the fields like here uh, in this class okay we have a different fields and it is basically the child of sp instance table because this table extended sp instance table so all the fields which are available in the parent will also come to this class okay this this class is p instance ais uh, which is this with search and once you will make use all of them it would be clear for you okay so it would be better if you will go here and check by yourself then only it would be clear the more you look the more you will be clear so these are the different type of widgets which uh, in widget instance which i have just shown to you okay <laughs> and how are all these instance created okay because i also last time confused that right because this instance of carousel okay how it will create i was looking for and the same i found is that we have to select this uh, instance table so based on that uh, it will create an instance uh, for this widget uh, which will have uh, some associated field field and that all will be helpful so let's uh, jump to the next section let's see how are pages and widgets loaded on client browser let's suppose you want you made a request to load service portal index home page to the server what it will do it will fetch that page and whatever the rows columns instance instance options is available into that page it will fetch that components also and then it will execute a server script and then it will prepare a data object along with that it will 
response back all these client script html css and bootstrap to the client browser so that this client script html css and bootstrap can execute on the client browser and it should display that prepared data so this is how pages and widgets loaded on client browser so since we have created one widget which is greeting based on time zone so here we have uh, this many components so first we have to write a code into the server script to attach the data into data object so let's create one variable uh, gdt equal to new client date time okay let's create an object and let's ask for get local time okay and what i want is i want the time in this format over okay uh you see which will be in 24 hour format and then I will check here if so it is basically written over so if over is less than 12 okay means we can say data dot greeting underscore message Good morning, and then plus we can add gs dot get user dot uh, get user dot get display name. Okay, and else if uh, else if our will be greater than equal to 12 and and less than to 18 okay 18 means uh, 6 pm in the evening okay not equal to less than 18 then we can say data dot in message good afternoon and else if else if our greater than equal to 18 then we can say good evening right and now we have attached the greeting message variable into this data object that we can access because this client script will map this object data into this c object okay uh, this data object will map into this c object because we don't have uh, this dollar scope object here so to access in html template we have to write we have to use this expression okay double opening curly bracket and double closing curly bracket so we can say see the data dot creating uh, this poor message okay and let's save it and 
see right now i have already enabled this preview to, to enable that preview you have to click here and check this enable preview checkbox and just click this i so it is saying good morning system administrator so maybe due to the time zone let's can say so i'll say and a good one maybe gmt time now let's see it is 6 pm so but here it is returning me let's see what it is returning okay Um, dot add info message over so it is returning zero three. Okay, maybe I have to write this. Okay, uh, now it is correct. Okay, friend, and state of small, small means 12 hours, and capital means 24 hours. Make sure that. So now it is correct. Okay, so let's have a good look, man. It's not looking. If you remember, last time we have configured. Uh, we can say class title and text. We have configured. Theme. We have this primary color. Let's see which color is this. For this uh, portal, <laughs> will show different color. But if I will add into okay, this color, it's too big. So H three, F three. okay next uh below i want to uh, let's leave it okay let's leave it but i can say uh, above you can write uh, the title I read the css code by saying that text align center and that's it i think text align center if you want to change the color we can change the color to white if required okay that's it okay so it's 100 percent Let's go to the application navigator and search for uh, that pages which we have created in our previous video. So, I think this is a demo index page. Uh, let me close all these unnecessary tabs. And in designer. So, I want to add this uh, first uh, container first I want to edit this container I just want to show fluid just want to show in a full width so fluid okay and 
you want image you can add and if you want css class for height we can say that this is our demo underscore page banner we'll see that let's copy for now and save it and let's so we have row we have directly added the 12 instead so i wanted to add this uh what is that three six this one okay this layout and here i want to add that greeting based on time zone widget okay so right now it is showing like this i want to show in center since i have written this text align center code Okay, and let's launch that portal which is portal development pd so you can see the good afternoon system administrator which is not in center what i can do here is that uh class title container you can use the css if you title friend i will make a separate video for css don't worry display flex and justify content center there's only one item if i'll Write this property align item center it will not make sense but let's see let's copy this okay t e okay t i t l spelling friend t i t l e let's see your portal oh it is still showing here don't know why container mm. Okay, so this class how possible Let me refresh this. Think something wrong. Txt text container. I don't know why it is not able to process the CSS or what. Even it is not changing the background color. Let me add some padding. 
dpx is strange for me container okay so it is working flex align items center justify content center with 100% let's see okay let's go to this page and refresh it now you can see it is uh, working so if i open in page designer so below i can add the type head search okay below i can add here a type head search okay so if i'll go to this portal and if i'll refresh it so you could see okay and I just want a little bit height so as I have added one class if you remember copy this and we have to edit here edit here and paste Okay, minimum height we can say uh, 300 px before, before we have to select height auto uh, display flex just for an example I'm taking this is working or not I don't think oh. okay so I got I got it why because we have added this right play flex I remove this and just save it We can min height CSS. We can go to the Google. We can go here and try it. Mm -hmm. 50 bx syntax is this. Since we have added right min height 75%. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See this mean I save it. 
let's add a height we'll see directly based on media query we can replace this okay okay so height here it is not setting to this content let's see why I have edit, edited this CSS class this one um, demo page fanner screen fluid uh, move to editor, save it Wait for a while, friend. Okay. Don't know why it is not able to set these. So, if I'll add it into the row instead of a container, I just want to remove this. Okay. I just want to remove this to X and save it. And I want to add into the row okay. or we can add into column directly. We'll see about that. Okay, so it will work. No, okay, A row also is not working. Um, save let's see this particular column mm, a bro edit and paste it save it it should work it should work okay now it should it is working not only that, we have to uh, go to here. So we can say minimum height, okay? Minimum height, 300 px and display flex, flex or uh, direction column, we can say, and that's it. and. Mm, gap I want is a uh, 10 maybe 20 px save it okay so it's not coming here even So your gap is coming, uh, but the not not that to align justify content center. Okay, because the direction is column. Uh, so that the content we want to align vertically so right now it will work right it will work vertical not the horizontal because the direction is column Why I don't know it is should work. Justify content center align 
items center come on man okay okay then let's do one thing I'll go to the page and <laughs> margin top we can say 100 clicks there are many ways Okay, and it is two hundred px I have given. Why? Swing like this, save it. Maybe that flex is working to be frank. Yes, that flex is working and uh we don't need this we don't need this align item center okay because it will destroy okay now it is perfect so friend if you want to add uh, some uh, short description below okay uh, for that uh, let's suppose we will do but let's add some images service no images I know it. But we can so we know I need the good meaningful images. Okay, and I think this is the perfect save image as Is there any other image like that? Uh, see more. We have this and we have this image as well. But let's go with this. Okay. I was looking okay let's save image as a desktop okay. and go to the page designer container edit load an image let's see friend it is already taken lots of time why okay so it is showing like this okay so what we can do we can uh, okay okay over here see the magic Uh, margin of 10 px and I need a background in the unit like this 
बैकग्राउंड आर जी बी ए ओके चीज रेड ग्रीन ब्लू पॉइंट फाइव अल्फा ओके सो तेज तेज नॉट एक्स आई डोंट थिंक if i will add a sub description and some icons but it's still it's not looking good let's remove this and we'll check it later okay other uh, what i can do I can select this row. Okay. I can select a container. This row and add one faded faded background. Save. friend i am uh, perfection is so i i always take a little bit time to do anything background rgba red a uh, green blue point of uh, 6 okay let's see and save it you can check right how it is looking <sighs> okay okay so yes now it is looking good we can check this uh, change the color of this title by going here and it should be h2 and h2 and let's text title okay we select this so you can do here t i t l e h f f f means white color other i want to add a uh, below a kind of options dot sort underscore description okay maybe let's save it i will show you from where we can add that it is saying perfect good afternoon system administrator okay and the below one let's go to the instance this p underscore instance dot list as i told you whenever if you add widget on the page it will create instance hopefully uh, for this also it would have created may have created instance so here you could see the greeting based on time zone Let's open in tab this is the page 
so you can see the instance uh, sir description so this is the service so i just want to copy this maybe if i i can make mistakes uh, we can say this is just the demo portal for learning service service portal can see and please subscribe this channel for more okay good let's sub underscore titles color will be same that okay. uh, not the same uh, okay. I can do little bit color H F E D E F E D Okay, so I got it. It is also display flex in row. Okay. <laughs> flex direction column. And so okay, else go to a page. Okay, if you want to make a little bit. And the dark, then you can increase this point to seven. And from the theme, uh, and you can change this color, okay? So, as I remember, let's go to the I just want this color uh, success color text success C double C this is T S U double C C E S S Primary, secondary, what is this? It is not working. Primary success for this info should work. Should work. The text success. Okay, let's copy this man. I don't know why it is working, but okay okay here i am overriding the color so here you can see right color <coughs> see just a demo portal and you know why the text size is too much small
confirmed size uh, 1.5 RU font size uh, 2.3 RU based on the root element So in our next video tutorial we will see how to style this search bar and others and we will create our custom widget, we will perform CRUD operation, we will create templates, we will create a directive and much more. So friend thank you for watching, let's meet on our next video.